Here's how to see your old call history on your iPhone. Now, if you wanted to go back maybe a few weeks ago, a month ago, a year ago, and see your entire call history, I'll show you exactly how to do that. So on the iPhone, there are records of your call history, but they're fairly limited. I'll show you how to find them. So let's just open up the phone app here. And now if you, at the bottom here, you can see recent. If you tap on that, you can scroll through this list. It keeps the most recent 100 calls that you've made or received on your iPhone. So you can see a bunch of calls on here. You can see your old call history. You can see it goes back to 527 of 2023 for me. And then you can also hop into the FaceTime app to see your call history on that as well. So there are two different places on your iPhone that you can see that call history. But again, it's fairly limited. Basically, that doesn't even go back a full month. Now, if I wanted to see a longer call history, you can always find that just by opening up a web browser. I have AT&T, so I can just type in AT&T call history. Whatever carrier you have, you know, T-Mobile, Sprint, Verizon, whatever, just type in the call history. And then what I'm going to go to is my specific device here. You can see it is my wireless account, my phone number, and you can see here are the various dates. I can select all of these different dates going all the way back to the beginning of 2022 on here. And then if I scroll down, it'll show me exactly who I called or received a call from my entire call history throughout all of those, along with exact date and time that that call was made. So if you wanted to go back, say, a year, all you have to do is go to your cell carrier and then you'll be able to download that. Sometimes it'll be in a CSV file or an Excel file, or you'll be able to print it as a PDF, something like that. Hope this helps. If you have any questions on that, leave them in the comments down below, and I'll catch you on the next one.